Hi Big Sis, what are you doing here? Hey Cuz, I'm ordering some food for dinner. What about you? I plan to visit you and the girls. I miss them a lot, so I came to buy some food over to your place. Great! Join us for dinner tonight then. What do you want to eat? I'll order for you also. Alright, thanks a lot. You are most welcome. How is your master's studies going on, sis? Good. I've just completed my second semester. Hopefully, I can graduate on time as planned. What are you studying for your master's? Is it hard and difficult like SPM? <laughs> from your point of view now, I think it will be very hard for you. But for me, because I have been careful and particular before I decided to further my studies, I'm enjoying my studies now and can overcome the difficulties faced. I'm currently under a postgraduate program called Master of Science Education with Information Technology. Infotech, is it like how my teacher are using Quiz and Kahoot to test us during lesson? Almost. Those are called education technology tools. There is one course that I enjoy a lot, called Production of Multimedia in Teaching. I learned and gained a lot from this course. You know that I have been recording videos of me teaching and uploading to YouTube for my students to learn. After attending Production of Multimedia, I learned even more knowledge and skills to make better and interesting videos. Yeah, I noticed that the videos that you upload are so much different lately. There are so many future in your videos now. Are all those learned in the course as well? Yep, I've learned to use suitable theories into different types of technology teachings. Some of the theories related to teaching with technology are Technological Pedagogical Content Knowledge TPAC, Bloom's Digital Taxonomy, Multiple Intelligence and many more. Oh my goodness, I'm starting to get drifted off when hearing about theories. Share more on the application that you use instead. Then I can create more medias like yours. Ma'am, your order is ready. Are you paying by cash or e-wallet? Can I use Boost to pay? Sure, please come to the cashier to scan the barcode. Come, let's go to my house now. Let's go, I can't wait to see the girls. Let's go then, girls won't be back till another hour. Please, please do share what apps do you use to create medias. Well, there are a few applications that you can use such as Canva, Lumen5 and Plotagon. Majority of the photos on my post lately are created using Canva. It's very user-friendly and easy to create a professional-looking post. Even my assignment presentation was created using Canva. So, that's your secret to all the nice-looking photos. Can I use Canva on my phone? Of course you can. Canva can be accessed using laptop or their mobile application. If you want to create a content video, you can use Lumen5 instead. I have created a few awareness videos about COVID-19 using Lumen5. All I have to do is copy the URL of the article and paste it into Lumen5. Wow, that easy! Just copy and paste, then the video will be created? Yes, it is that easy. If you don't like the keywords that is selected by the AI technology, you can easily edit it manually. You can even find suitable visuals and music to make your video interesting. But for Lumen5, you need to create the videos using laptop or a desktop. The mobile apps doesn't allow creating and editing. I didn't even know there are such applications available. I only use Instagram and TikTok layers and filters. Do we have to pay to use their application? No, no need to pay to use. Both applications have free to use plan, and I think the free plan are already sufficient for us to use. I've been using it for months and I haven't used any paid items. Good news for you, you can choose to create Instagram and TikTok posts using Canva and Lumen5. I'm so excited to start using the apps already. By the way, what else did you learn in the course? 
I also learned how to create animations using Plotagon and also make more attractive videos through OBS. These two applications need to use the laptop to create videos. You can borrow mine if you are interested to try it. We have reached the floor. Let's continue chatting in the house. Maybe next time only I try those applications. Sis, I also noticed that in every photo or video, there are similar logos inside. It has your name Eunice Leong on it. What's that about? Oh that, that is my brand logo and also the name to my FB page, YouTube channel and also Instagram account. My lecturer taught us to have our digital identity or our own branding. It will make viewers recognize my work and also easy for them to find my work on the internet. Why do we need to have our digital identities? Can't we just post things as it is? Well, when we create our digital identity or our own brand, it will create trust among our viewers. With trust, we will have loyal followers if our creation suits their interests. Branding also gives value to our work and help gain recognition. Imagine this, you create an original video and the video goes viral. But you did not include your logo or brand in it. Anyone can claim the viral video as theirs. I'm sure you don't want that to happen, right? Of course not. I put a lot of effort in each of the videos I produce. If the video becomes viral, of course, I have the right to claim it. But if you don't put your personal branding, then you cannot claim it as yours. Huh? Then what should I do? Can you guide me? First, create your own logo using Canva. I did mine there too. Then, after creating your videos, insert the logo image into the video. Put it in a corner so that it won't disturb your video. If possible, also include a Creative Commons license in there also. Creative what? What's that? Creative Commons Creators or other rightful owners who want to make their video available to the public for a limited kind of users while preserving their copyrights. You should go and learn more about Creative Commons on their official website. I strongly recommend anyone who produce medias and share to the internet to put a Creative Commons license on their creation. Wow! I really learned a lot today. There are so much things that I do not know about sharing on the internet. Yup, I agree with you on this. Before I started my master study, I thought what I know is a lot already. Little do I know, after just two semesters into my studies, I found out that there are a lot more out there to be learned. It's not possible for us to learn everything, but we should not stop learning or believe that we have know it all. Like when I recorded my physics video few years back, seeing the numbers of views on the videos, I thought those videos are good enough already. But now, I learn even more skills to make a video lessons even more interesting for students to watch. I agree on this, the video about Angry Bird was quite interesting. Sis, are you free now? Can you teach me how to use Canva? I want to start creating my own logo and post. Sure, of course I'm free now. I wouldn't be chatting with you if I'm busy, right? <laughs> True also. So, what should I do? Open your Play Store and search for the Canva application first. Then, sign in using your Google account. you have liked what I have done with this animation video, I'm gonna have a full complete reflection on the course that I have actually learned the production of multimedia in teaching uh, through my Facebook page soon, so wait for my Facebook live, bye!